The topic of the seminar today is problems of transition from school to university. The purpose of the seminar is to think of ways to help students to better cope with their academic work. Let's start by talking about two problems uh, faced by the first year students. Um, they are time management and working in groups. Well, I think um, university students seem to have a lot of free time available and there could be a whole day without any lectures or seminars. So in other words, university life is um, sort of unstructured compared to school. We often have to host discussions and do assignments in groups, which can cause lots of problems for first-year students. I know you have searched for useful materials in the library and on the websites, so let's see what we've found out. Mm, I'd like to start off by uh, asking Dennis to tell us about time management. As I see it, the most important thing is to learn and use organizing and time management skills. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. The books say we should make three kinds of timetables, um, such as the semester planner, weekly planner, and also the diary for everyday work. Go on. Okay, as a master planner is for things you must do and don't change, such as tests and exams and assignment due dates. Mm -hmm. A weekly planner is for you to put down classes and extracurricular activities, while the diary is an action list where you can uh, take for everyday work such as the pre-lecture readings, homework and family functions. Mm -hmm. They help students organize their time in a systematic way. To a certain extent, yes, but they are not always helpful. Research shows that it may be difficult to stick to planners, like it may be difficult to control time in collecting information for papers and projects. I couldn't agree more. It's hard to fit in um, part-time jobs, extra character activities, and social life with academic works. Some social activities just pop up at the last minute, and you feel bad turning down invitations. It seems to me that I spend too much time on time wasters, such as chats, phone calls, ice queuings, <laughs> watching TV, browsing the internet, etc. I must learn to say no. Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> sure. Well, I've got some tips from the university websites, and they say we must learn how to research effectively, such as we can attend the workshops organized by the library, and we could also ask teachers for help as a class time or even make use of the consultation hours. And I think it's important because, you know, we need to do lots of readings and assignments in a short time period. Mm -hmm. Well, we're running out of time, so let's move on to the second problem. What's your view on working in groups, Jenny? Uh, that's it. It's, it's a problem because group work we requires diff communications in different ways, mm -hmm. such as well, face-to-face, -face, phone calls, email, which take up lots of time. As far as I'm concerned, the problem is you need to work with people that you don't know. Mm. Group work is never easy because sometimes some people are dominating, others contribute little. Very often, I find that the time is spent unproductively mm. and I often feel frustrated. Mm -hmm. I agree with Diane about knowing our team members. It's good to get to know our team members, find out their backgrounds, strengths and interests so we can know what they like to do and what they're good at and so we can build a good working relationship. Mm -hmm. Well, my reading said that to get better grades we should clarify assignment um, requirements mm -hmm. such as the purpose of the project and the skills we need to demonstrate in the project. I think you're right and after understanding the tasks we can break them down to subtext mm -hmm. and see which can be done on our own and what can be done in a group. Then we need to agree on a plan and a deadline. Someone should be chosen to take on a leadership role to guide the process. Mm -hmm. yeah. 